Hi, welcome to Moomoo Math. Today we're going to look at setting up the ratios for both sine and cosine. Now let's review sine of an angle, and that can be any measurement of an acute angle in a triangle, is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cosine of the acute angle A is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. So how do we decide which side is which? Okay, so here's our angle A. From angle A, we have to look at our reference sides. We go to the opposite side of the triangle, and that is our opposite side. So I label that as an O for opposite. The hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle, so I label it next. And then the third side has to be the adjacent side, and notice it is adjacent or next to angle A. So from angle A, I have opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. Now, let's give us give some angles or some measurements. Let's say the opposite side is 6 and the hypotenuse is 10. From this side, my sine would be the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the sine of angle A would equal to 6 over 10, which is my opposite over my hypotenuse. Now let's look at the cosine of A. Now the cosine is the ratio adjacent over hypotenuse. I don't know this side, so I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find that side. So I take A squared plus B squared, and B is my other leg, which is 6 squared, equals C squared, which is one, uh, 10 squared. So 36 plus A squared equals 100. So A squared equals 64, and A must be the length of 8. So I've now solved for A. So now I can set up my ratio of cosine. Cosine of A will be 8 over 10. So I set up adjacent, which is 8, over hypotenuse, which is 10, so it's 8 over 10, and that is how I would solve. Okay, so now let's look for from one more perspective. You can also look from angle B, the other acute angle. Which side is which? Well, from angle B, the opposite side would be the one down here, and the adjacent side is the one over here. So the hypotenuse remains the hypotenuse no matter which acute angle you're referencing, but your opposite and adjacent will flip depending on which reference angle you're using. So, just wanted to help you set up those trig ratios and hope this was helpful.